Anti-Semitism has risen since the Hamas attack on Israel on October 7th, and college campuses, they have especially been affected. Harvard University police are investigating the incident in this video. Students were holding a die-in protest to demand an end to the violence in Gaza. When the Harvard Crimson reports, quote, a man began to film demonstrators' faces. Within minutes, he was escorted out by protest organizers who blocked his camera with their traditional scarves worn by Palestinians. It is unclear what the interactions between the man and the protesters were prior to the incident. At Cornell University, classes were canceled Friday due to extraordinary stress after violent threats against Jewish students were posted online, allegedly by a junior at Cornell. Patrick Day Dye was arrested and charged for posting threats to kill or injure another using interstate communications, but not before he terrorized his classmates. The president of Cornell Student Assembly, Patrick Keel, joins me now. Patrick, uh, first, can you just give us a sense of how students are feeling? How are folks doing right now? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Simone. Um, I think that there's a lot of stress on campus. Uh, there are a lot of students who are struggling with the events of the last couple of weeks. Uh, there are a lot of students who still have a lot of fear, um, even after a restorative day yesterday. So, Patrick, I, I want to take a step back because um, I notably did not show the comments that um, some of the most inflammatory comments that were posted online and the threats. But can you just talk a little bit about why things are tense, why people feel the way they do, just the kinds of things that were, have been floating around out there on campus? Yeah, absolutely. I think this issue that we're dealing with on campus right now, um, as well as around the United, United States at campuses all across uh, the world even, um, I think that there's so many different perspectives and so many different sides. And out of that comes a lot of hatred, um, which is not acceptable. Um, the events that we've seen at Cornell uh, in the last week, uh, where we had a student uh, post threats on an online messaging forum um, were incredibly scary for a lot of students um, and caused a lot of stress. Um, and we're still trying to deal with that and trying to support all students um, and raise voices of conversation and of peace and making sure uh, that all students feel like they have a place where they can express their ideas without feeling threatened or unsafe. Uh, you talked with some of our producers before the show, and you said that the student body was so worried about doxing so much that you passed legislation to denounce it. What exactly happened to make that such a high priority? Yeah, you know, doxing has become an uh, incredibly um, important issue at college campuses, not just during this uh, this incident um, over the course of the last few weeks, but also in uh, previous years uh, with the advent of uh, all of us being online all the time. Um, we've had incidents, uh, luckily very few at Cornell University, um, though it has happened, but is definitely prevalent across the United States of students uh, speaking out on topics and then um, having their information posted online. Uh, we've seen this again at Cornell, um, luckily not too many times during this incident. Uh, but we're doing our best to make sure that students feel like they are safe and being able to uh, express their viewpoints um, in a constructive manner to really bring people together uh, so that we don't have a situation where we just have you know, students throwing stones at each other, uh, metaphorically, of course, um, but can actually come together and have conversations about these incredibly difficult topics uh, and be able to create an environment where we can work towards solutions uh, where we can, you know, build bridges rather than break them. Do you think, Patrick, that the administration of Cornell, as well as your professors and the faculty, that they're doing enough to create safe spaces and place for the conversation um, to be had? Yeah, great question. Um, I think that there's always more we can do. Um, I think that the administration has worked really hard to start to provide spaces for students to be able to express their ideas uh, safely and securely, as well as express their feelings and emotions towards these incredibly difficult topics uh, that have caused a lot of stress and anxiety uh, for a lot of students on campus. Um, so there has been a lot of that going on. I think there's always more we can do. Uh, we need to be promoting positive conversation. We need to be bringing people together. Uh, we need to be uplifting voices of of peace and of uh, collaboration. And unfortunately, when we don't have those, you just start to see um, devolvement.
Mm. Patrick Hill, I appreciate you taking the time today and just for the real thought and care that I know that you've put into making sure that folks are safe on campus and bringing the student body together. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Simone. Thank you. And